every steam-powered buddy! Why the hell would I say something like that? Well, that's what Valve called its Steam website, steampowered.com. This video is just a totally unrehearsed, uh, freeform kind of video where I go through my Steam library and I call it a Steam Roll. The reason we're doing it this time is because I finished the Bioshock Infinite full walkthrough and so now we've got to replace it with something ahead of the uh, mid-October release of The Evil Within. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna do a full walkthrough of that but that's not happening for about six weeks. So anyway, there's a lot of options on the table. I could replace it with a raw footage series, um, which would last just six weeks. I could maybe do um, raw footage of a few games, or maybe I could buy a new game and do some raw footage of that, or I could combine all of those together. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that in just a moment. So you can see that I just opened up the Steam application itself. So why don't we mess around a little bit. I'm going to show you the store in a little while. We're also going to th go through my library um, and look at the list of games that I've got installed. And we're also going to go in here in my inventory. Uh, and it's because I've got some games in there that I have to give away. And I'll show you those in a little while. Um, Oh, look at this. Skyrim is 75% off. Uh, that's not the Legendary Edition. That's just the regular edition for $5. I might even buy that and give it away, too. I'm not sure yet. And that's what I've been doing lately, is just going through Steam and buying games as gifts so I can give them away later. Okay, so anyway, let's hop into my library now. And... We'll see what I've um, played in the past, what I bought, some things I bought that I've never played. Okay, now we're going to zoom in a little bit more into the Steam app so you can see everything. Okay, so here we are. Um, we'll probably just start right at the top. Um, but you must know that the ones that are highlighted are the ones that I have currently installed. And you'll see that these aren't installed because I, you know, I. Put, installed them at one time but then got rid of them. Bioshock Infinite is obviously installed. I just finished that and by the way that's why we're here because we are looking to replace that um, with another uh, series of some sort. Um, and yeah we'll go through this whole list now. So there's Arma 2. Yeah not much to talk about there. But then um, Operation 2 or Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead is what gave birth I believe to DayZ, which is a zombie survival open world game based on the Arma 2 engine, right? Um, and the Arma 2 world. Uh, and I never really got into that. You know, I wish I could delete this crap. Operation Airhead Beta Obsolete. You can't get that out of your library. Once someone's in there, it, you can't get it out. So anyway, I did buy Arma 3. Uh, this is the full version of it. Uh, and... Um, I did upload a few episodes of that, but I lost interest, honestly. Oh, here's Assassin's Creed. Um, I played that a long, long time ago. I never recorded any episodes, but... Um, and then I do have Assassin's Creed 2. I don't know why it's not showing up. It's probably because it's in that other um, interface or the other uh, application. Okay, Assassin's Creed 3. Um, you can see that I did pump about 75 hours into this game and I did upload I believe eight episodes but then I lost interest in the walkthrough and I never did finish the game and here's the bard's tale somebody gifted me that and I don't know who the hell gifted it to me uh, yeah anyway and then here's Bioshock I love the Bioshock game and then I do have Bioshock 2 I played that uh, many times I don't know why Bioshock 2 isn't showing up here I'll find that out later okay I already told you about Bioshock Infinite uh, Borderlands 2 I did a few episodes of that and then I lost interest and actually I can't remember if I bought the game or someone gifted it to me um, Crisis Warhead was fun it's kinda like a an interim between Crisis and Crisis 2 it was a uh, like a standalone uh, shooter game with a separate story uh, and I believe it was Psycho's story, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you played Psycho. Uh, Crisis Wars is the multiplayer. Um, 
I didn't really get into that. Well, it says I played how many hours? No, oh, I played 16 minutes of it. Wow. Okay. Uh, Dead Island Epidemic. Who the hell gave this to me? I don't know why this is in here. Oh my god, what's happening? Anyway, I don't know. Uh, if anyone knows who gifted it to me, let me know. Okay, here's Dead Space 2. I did a full walkthrough of that, by the way. And Dear Esther did a full walkthrough of that. I think it was only seven episodes. Spent seven hours in the game. Here's uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. I did uh, one video of that, then I stopped. I just wanted to do a raw footage of it just to kind of show you uh, the graphics. Um, and then Dishonored, yeah. So uh, Dishonored was a fun game published by Bethesda um, using the ID5 engine. Or no, I think it was the Unreal 4 engine. Um, I did a few episodes of that and then I lost interest uh, in recording. Here's DOTA. Uh, and also there's that trial thing again, or test I wish I could delete. Uh, everyone knows about Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I've got quite a few videos on that, including a big tutorial on how to uh, do an extreme graphics mod. Um, and Skyrim. Look at all the hours I've got pumped into that game. Um, gee, I've only got like 350 videos already on YouTube. Uh, it's three separate series. There's the main one, then there's Dawn Guard and Dragonborn. Here it is, the evil within. Oh my god, Shark Thing Don Pantalones. That was gifted by the YouTuber Snufflumpagus. Yay! So that's going to start in mid October. And once that starts, then I have to stop doing whatever we're going to do with my Steam library. Uh, Fallout 2, nope, not going to do it. It's too old. I love the game. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the game, it's just way too old. Uh, and then here's Fallout 3, right below it. That's... I don't know why it says I've only got a few hours. Oh, because I don't track the hours that I put into this, but this Fallout 3 series of mine is going to go on and on until Fallout 4 is released. Um, and I'm going to spawn a few other series uh, in the Fallout 3 game world. Um, in the future. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, look at all the hours I pumped into that. And that's not even uh, half the story compared to some of the other YouTubers who are uploading Fallout New Vegas mods and such. Okay, uh, Far Cry 2. Um, yeah, I loved, I loved the Far Cry and Far Cry 2 uh, games. Never touched Far Cry 3 yet, uh, but it's too old to record now. I would play it, but I wouldn't record it. Uh, here's all the Half-Life stuff. Boring. Not getting into that. Uh, episode 2, yeah, that was the second part of Half-Life 2. Uh, the Lost Coast was actually a graphics engine showcase. It was even shorter than Dear Esther. Uh, it was an interesting way to show off um, Valve's new engine that they then used for Portal 2. Um, that was the engine they used for Dear Esther and Portal 2. Okay, uh, let's see. Medieval 2, Total War, that was fun not going to record any up that's too way too old in fact like any and then here's monaco um i played a few episodes of that um uh multiplayer episodes with my friends in fact one of my friends gave me this copy of monaco so uh it's fun if you have a couple bucks to blow you can try that out but there's so many other games on steam i mean why bother with monaco um oh here's portal the cake is a lie. Um, I didn't upload any videos of Portal. However, um, I have many videos of Portal 2. I think my Portal 2 series was 50 or 60 episodes. I can't remember. Um, then Rage, I did a partial walkthrough of that, but I stopped after episode 8 because I was getting annoyed with the graphics glitches. It was that ID5 engine. <sighs> oh well. And then I really did lose interest in the game, and I never got to see the whole thing. I just don't know what it is about uh, ID games lately that um, caused me to lose interest. And then here's Thief. It's a, a very well-rendered game with, with some bugs, but it wasn't too bad. Um, it takes place in a European uh, Renaissance town, but they're going through a... 
uh, plague. So it's a very grim mood, and I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it. Um, the previous Thief games, like uh, Thief Deadly Shadows, it was more upbeat, actually. Okay, here's Torchlight. Um, this was a fracking joke. It was just a, a ridiculous, lighthearted version of Diablo, but the Torchlight 2 was really good, um, according to reviews and user reviews, too. Um, Archie games is the one who gifted Torchlight 2 to me and if you remember Archie's games is the one who also gave me the copy of Fallout 3 game of the year so without him the Fallout 3 series probably never would have happened so he's still the single biggest contributor to my channel even to this day um, but uh, I told him I would try to play some Torchlight 2 if I had the chance but I never got around to it sadly okay so no big deal. Um, and then we have Two Worlds 2. I did about eight episodes of that, and then it was kind of an annoying game, and I lost interest, and there were too many other things going on. I think Rage came out that year, right after that, so then I also bought Universe Sandbox. This is really just uh, positioning planets and moons and then throwing them at a sun and watching them uh, orbit. Um, the sun and you can smash planets into each other okay and then I have Wasteland 1 the the classic Wasteland and the reason I have this in my inventory is because I bought I pre-ordered Wasteland 2 and I was able to play the beta now I did a few raw idiotic episodes of Wasteland 2, and it turns out they became very popular. Um, most of them had like 20,000, 30,000 views. I didn't know they were going to be that popular, so we might do Wasteland 2. Uh, some more raw footage of that. Okay, then, of course, there's Watch Dogs next. <laughs> and everyone knows about Watch Dogs. I'm doing a full walkthrough of that against my better judgment. Uh, here's The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. So I did um, a few raw idiotic videos of this, but then as you know, my new partner on my channel, uh, DCM, I Hate Pie, is now doing a full walkthrough of The Witcher 2. So we're going to see the whole game end to end. Um, under his pen and um, he's actually doing a better job than I did with the walkthrough um, and he's pumping them out really fast in fact he's pumping out the videos faster than I can publish them so that's awesome I love the walkthrough um, and then you'll see below it I have the Witcher 3 in my inventory and the reason Witcher 3 is in the inventory is because DCM is the one who sponsored it he gifted me the the Witcher 3, so I'm going to be doing a full end-to-end -end walkthrough of that starting in January. It should actually say The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. I don't know why it doesn't say The Wild Hunt. And then here's Wolfenstein, The New Order in my inventory. Um, I already did a few raw footage uh, episodes of that, and we might do more because uh, I do like the game and I'm not done with it yet. Um, so I could maybe just start recording like right where I am in the game right now um, because it is just raw footage after all. And then there's the last game in my inventory is XCOM, Enemy Unknown. I've never touched any of the XCOM games, so I'm probably not going to install this and play it. It's just, you know, there's so many games out there and so many different uh, 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 franchises that you just can't, obviously, you can't possibly absorb all of them. All right, so now let's go into my inventory and I'm going to show you which games I've purchased as gifts to be given away. Um, I think we have to go and, yeah, we just go into inventory. And this inventory system is a big sloppy mess. I don't know why Portal 2 s pops up, but it's there's no reason for that to be there. Okay, so now here's my Steam inventory. Um, that's not, I don't know where that came from. But anyway, here are the ones that I bought, and I'm going to give them away um, 
in the next few weeks. There's Fallout 3. Um, I had, I actually bought three copies of Fallout 3 and I've given away two of them already and there's one left. Um, there's Siberia 2. I saw this on sale. It was deeply discounted so I, I figured oh, I'd buy it and give it away. Someone might like it, right? Uh, and then also uh, The Witcher 2 uh, Assassin of Kings, the Enhanced Edition, was on sale one weekend, so I bought that. I'm going to give The Witcher 2 away. Um, and then the last um, one was this other game that, that I noticed. It was really, really cheap. It was called The Bridge, and there were a lot of good um, uh, accolades from critics, and it got pretty good critics reviews it got decent user reviews so I bought it let's just take a look at it in the store really quick mm. that's odd I don't quite remember what it's all about obviously it's like a um, like a fully illustrated 2d game of some sort yeah see and it looks like it is a 2d uh, hand painted game interesting eh I don't know. Well, anyway, if if it if it looks exciting, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play it. But um, then you can be part of the game giveaway, and I might give all these games away um, at the same time, or I might do one at a time. I'm not sure yet. It's probably better to do one at a time because not everyone is going to be interested in each of these titles. Like you know, most of you guys might not even care about the bridge. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, there's the four titles to give away. And then I'm probably going to buy a few more whenever I see them on sale, and then I'll give them away. In fact, um, giveaways are going to become almost like a, like a monthly thing on my channel. In fact, we might even do it every other week. Okay, so let's just take a look in the store really quick. Now remember, even though um, I have a bunch of stuff in my library. Maybe there's something new that's going to be released in the next week or so that you'd like to see me play. Um, it would just be a raw footage series where I just randomly record whenever I feel like it. So it wouldn't be a full walkthrough. It would just be raw footage of me being an idiot in a game that I don't understand. So um, uh, if you see something that you want to in Steam that you'd like me to play, um, let me know. And then if it's cheap enough, I'll buy it. Um, but if you also wanted to gift it to me, if you happen to have an extra copy of something and you think I might like it, um, as long as it's a recently released game, then send me a message on either Steam or YouTube and let me know first that you're interested in gifting me something. And then I'll take a look at it. Then if it looks good, then I'll do a few episodes of it. Well, there you have it. That was September's Steam Roll on the Culvey House channel. If you saw anything in my Steam library that looked good, or like I said, if you want to suggest something else that's on Steam, let me know and uh, in a comment, all right? Uh, remember, we only have about six weeks to go before the release of The Evil Within. So uh, we've got six weeks of raw footage to fill. Uh, and of course, I'll still be doing Watch Dogs and Fallout 3 and Skyrim and the other series that I have planned. All right. So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel. And remember to add a comment about any games that you want me to play over the next six weeks. All right. We'll see you very soon on the Coley House channel. Thanks for watching.